Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Today, we're joined by Pastor Alec Nider. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be here filling in for these devotions again. Um, I'm really looking forward to our time together. I don't know if you've ever been in the situation like me when, you know, maybe you're reading through the scripture, maybe you're going through a reading plan, whatever you have in the morning or the evening for you, but um, things kind of feel a little dry. But then all of a sudden there's this chapter in a book that just like it feels like the floodgates open up heaven pours out and it's just a beautiful time with the lord and it really carries you through like the next few weeks of like really experiencing that mountaintop experience with the lord um for me romans 12 recently was one of those uh situations where you know not that i was in a bad place but you know the word of god had felt like it had dried up a little bit and you know i just was reading Romans 12 one day and and all of a sudden it felt like God was just pouring out his mercies on me and just really speaking to me. So in this next week, we're just going to be sitting and meditating on Romans 12. We're going to take like a couple verses at a time and really just slowly read it and slowly uh, hear what God has to say to us. And I hope that it blesses you as much as it blesses me. So um, let's start off with preparing to meet the Lord with some prayer. Uh, Will you join me? (sighs) Father, we love you so much. We're thankful for the new day to come before you and to hear your voice. We're thankful that you are a God who speaks. You're not silent. You choose to uh, intervene in the midst of our chaos, God, and you, you, you choose to Let your voice be heard in just miraculous ways. God, as we read your word today, we pray that you would uh, guide us with your Holy Spirit, that you would be our teacher, that we wouldn't look for uh, commentaries, even to other devotions or even my words, God, but that we would just hear from you for our moment in time. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. I'm just going to read that one more time for us. Romans 12.1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. What does it mean to be a living sacrifice? You know, when I hear the word sacrifice, my mind automatically goes to the great sacrifice of Jesus. And, um, you know, I just think about the great love the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit have for you and for me to to, to uh, display that love through the death of Jesus Christ, but also through the resurrection. Um, I just think about that and I'm like, okay, how can I mirror that? You know, we're called to Christ likeness. What does it mean, after that beautiful work of sacrifice that Jesus did, how can I uh, mirror that or become like that in my own way and in my uh, current time? And I just think, wow, what a heart Jesus had for people. I know this is probably really basic for some of us, but so often my heart gets so crowded with other things. You know, my will and my emotions are all crowded with thoughts about myself. I'm self-consumed. I'm a prideful person. And oftentimes I'm missing out on the heart of Jesus. I'm missing out on his, his love he had for other people. As I'm reflecting on this this beautiful verse in Romans, I'm just thinking, God, I want to be that living sacrifice. I want to submit myself to you. I want to be exactly like you. I want your heart for people. I want your heart for the lost. I want your heart for the Christian. I want your heart for everything on this earth. I want to mirror your heart. And I think that is what really being a living sacrifice is. Mirroring that love that Jesus had for other people because love is sacrifice. Love is refusing to look for the good of my own and looking for the good of other people. How can I uh, have that love? And this is kind of where I'm responding now in this time of devotion. I'm thinking, Lord, teach me to love sacrificially as you do. 
How can I love? Teach me to love sacrificially for my family. Teach me to love sacrificially for my church and the people around me. Teach me uh, what it means to be willing to give up anything that I hold dear so that I can love other people. My opinions, my convictions sometimes on things that don't necessarily matter. My way to talk to people. You know, I don't know if you've ever done um, a love language study, but uh, it's really fun to do with your family or your spouse. And uh, when me and my wife did it, you know, it's really interesting. You know, the way that I express love isn't necessarily the way that she receives love. And that really spoke to me and to her because I have to sacrifice even the way I choose to love people, even the way I want to love people for the way that they can actually receive it. And this is a way to be sacrificial. I really think the Lord is calling us all into a deeper love for people. This is how we know we are his disciples if we love the people around us. So uh, for me, my response is God teach me to love sacrificially. Teach me to love the way you do. And he will illuminate that, I know, in the coming, as, he, as you continue to seek him in prayer. I pray that for you also, that your love would be sacrificial, that your love would be uh, like his. You would have his heart for the people around you. God bless. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit cclasvegas.org, click visit, and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.